Okay, and picking up from my last video where I gave you an overview of exactly how to create a web form using JotForm, I think that was within like five minutes. I just wanted to go over some other options that you may uh, be interested in in getting your form to look a, a little bit more than just the default, okay? And some of those settings are for one, if you go to form style, you can do label align, and I, I recommend either putting it to the left or to aligning your labels on top of the fields, okay? And what that does is, as you see, it puts every name of the field on top of the field instead of, if we go back to form style and do left, to the left of the field. So it's all dependent on how you, know, you want it to display on your website. Another thing is when you get down here, let's choose the text area, you can create a sub label. And what a sub label is just gives a little more description of what kind of information you're looking for like this right if if I type this I say please elaborate right there how much did you like it will appear right under it most of the fields that ask for text will have a sub label um, another setting that you like to do is the submit button you can change this text to anything that you like it to be and you can change the styling to look like any of these pre-formatted uh, buttons or you can upload your own if you click button image if you paste the HTML code to your button it'll pull that in as well so some other settings are when we go to form style you can adjust the font size okay smaller or bigger you can adjust the font color of course the background color and when, once we adjusted the size you see how far away it got that's because each label has a width there you go when I select it you see the label width, and you could just drop that down you know you can as I mentioned you can align the labels um, everything you can even go to themes and select a theme if you don't want the basic white background so what you want to do is once you have your form as you like it all the additional settings are in there all your all of your required fields are set you can select preview um, I'm just in a test account so I, I that's why I gave me that prompt but what it'll do is it'll give you a preview of exactly what your form looks like and if you want to look at you can double click right here copy paste this address paste it in your browser and there it is this is your form so next thing you will want to do is embed this actual form on your website okay and that way when people go to your website it'll pull up this form embedded in your website just like it's part of your website um, or you can just send people the link to this I've if you have an intake form if this is an application or something uh, you can just send people straight to this link and once they fill it out, you get a notification of the information that they've put in.